Hi guys, welcome to today's GIS tutorial. In this video, we will learn creating a simple land cover map in QGIS. You can subscribe to this channel to follow all my previous useful GIS tips and tutorials. For those who are interested in taking up a complete course from basic to advanced GIS, you can register at WiseGIS by following this link. I'll provide all useful links in the description below. So let's get to today's exercise. This new land cover data was actually released by ESRI using a 10 meter resolution in the tool imagery. And uh, the land cover map is available in Living Atlas and has improved the understanding of important topics such as food security, land use planning, hydrology modeling, resource management planning, among other uses. This data will also be updated annually using advanced machine learning. So we have a data link here that you're going to be using for Living Atlas. .acgis.com. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to QGIS. So I'm going to open the QGIS and I'm going to create a new blank project. We're going to project new. So the first thing we need is the land cover data so that we can be able to create our very nice land cover map. So to get this data, I'm going to go to my browser. In this case, I'm using Google Chrome. So I'm going to type Living Atlas. And I'll select the first link, which is uh, livingatlas.acgis.com. And it will bring me to this uh, official page of uh, ESRI, Living Atlas. So I'm going to scroll down and you can see we have the ESRI 2020 land cover map. So I'm going to select the ESRI 2020 land cover map. A new tab opens. And then I'll go straight into downloading this data because you can take your time and go through all this information about this data. But I want us to download the data direct so that you can start using it for our area of interest. So I'm going to go to this uh, tab called Enabling the Entire GS Community. And you can read a lot of descriptions here, but I'm just going to go directly to the link to download this data. And you'll see there's uh, the data available for download through this. So I'm going to select this by clicking on this application here. So we can now access the ESRI 2020 land cover downloader. And you can see if you want to download the full uh, GeoTIFF zip, it is available here. So you can click here, but it's actually 60 gigabytes, a very, very big file. So I'm going to click on close and it will bring the world map here with some very, very many tiles all over the different regions of the world. So one thing I noticed about this data is that you cannot actually bring in a shapefile if you haven't logged in. So if you want to use your own shapefile, then you need to log in into the ESRI website portal. But for us, since I know where my area is somewhere in Rwanda, I'm just going to zoom in and I'm actually going to download uh, the tile that I want to use in in uh, QGIS. So I'm going to go to Kigali City here, you can see Rwanda. And I'm actually going to download this tile here so that, because my area of interest is within this tile, so I'm going to click on this square here, and then wait for a few seconds and a pop-up appears and it tells you to download the scene 35M. So it is 222 MB. And uh, this is actually data that you can actually use. It's actually free. So I'm going to click on download scene. And it's going to prompt me to save it somewhere on my computer. So I am going to create a folder called Land Cover Data. So I'm going to click on Browse. And I'm going to create a new folder in my JS working folder called Land Cover. So I'm going to click on save. Then I'm going to start downloading my data. My first download is complete. So I'm going to click on close. And since my data overlaps to the other scene, you can see this is the first scene. And my data overlaps to this other scene here because 
this is where my area of interest is. I'm also going to download this other scene here. I'm going to click on it again. Click on download scene. And I'll save it in the same land cover folder. Click on start download. So that I can have both scenes and then I will merge them and clip according to my area of interest. Now that I've finished downloading the two scenes, I'm going to load this data into QGIS and look at our results. So I'm going to go to QGIS. And since they are raster layers, we're going to bring them as raster layers into QGIS. So I'm going to go to layer, add layer, add raster layer. And you're going to browse for where the raster layers are. So I'm going to click on browse. And it's in the land cover data in my computer. And you can see that I have the 35M and the 36M GOT files. So I'm going to load all of them. Then I'm going to click on Add. And I'm going to click on Close. So now we have actually brought in our two raster layers. So let's bring in our shape file so that we can actually be able to clip the two layers. So you can see the two layers are side by side. If I turn off, and our area of interest is somewhere here at the middle. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to now download the shape file of Rwanda so that we can actually clip our area of interest. So I'm going to go to my browser again, open a new tab, then search for Diva GIS. Hit enter. Then I'm going to select Diva GIS Free, Simple, and Effective. Then I'm going to select Free Spatial Data tab. Then I'm going to select Country Level Data. And this applies for any country level data that you want to download. You can actually download it from this site. So I'm going to look for Rwanda. And we have Rwanda here. So I need the administrative areas of Rwanda. You can always change the subject here by clicking on the drop down here. But since I am interested in administrative areas, I'm going to just download that. I'm going to click on OK. Then I'm going to click on download the administrative areas. And I'm going to create a folder where I'm going to be saving my data. So I'm going to save it in a folder, Rwanda, folder called Rwanda Data, in a GS folder. So I'm going to save it in the Rwanda data folder. Start downloading. The download is complete. So let's load up this data into QGIS. So I'm going to unzip the data first. Now that I have unzipped the data, let's load it into QGIS. I'm going to go to QGIS, and this is a vector layer, so I'm going to go to layer, add layer, add vector layer. I'm going to browse for the random data in the data folder. And I'm going to load in the admin zero data because we have admin, admin zero to admin five levels but I am interested in the country, the whole country, so I'm going to load the admin zero. And now you can see we have our random admin zero data, so I'm going to zoom to layer. And you can see if I uncheck, I'm going to first make it uh, outline. So I'm going to double click. Then I'm going to change it to an outline so that you can actually see our area of interest well. So the red boundary is our area of interest. And you can see the reason why I downloaded the two scenes is because when I uncheck one of the scenes, you can actually see there was some missing part. That's why we had to download both scenes so that we can actually clip them. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clip this data according to the area of interest. So I'm going to go to raster, extraction, 
clip by mask layer. So because we want to use a shape file, I'm going to select clip by mask layer. Then I'm going to select start with the first one, 36M. I'm actually going to clip them separately and then merge them together later on because they are very big files. I don't need to merge them and then clip. I can just clip them and then merge them together. Then the mask layer is the one that means zero. I'm going to save a temporary file, click on run. And let's, let's wait for it to actually clip the file. So it has clipped one part of the scene. Let's just confirm if it has done anything good. So I'm going to uncheck the 36 to see if it was clipped. And you can now see it has actually clipped to that. So we now require the remaining part, which is the 35M. So I'm going to clip also the 35M. So this is the 36M clipped. So I'm going to rename it 36M clipped. Now I'm going to clip the 35M. So I'm going to go do the same thing, raster, extraction, Clip by mask layer. Then this time I'm going to select the 35M. And then the clip layer, which is the mask layer, is the run admin zero. And I'm going to click on run, save it as a temporary file. So the second clip is finished. I'm going to click on close and I'm going to uncheck now the 35M to see if it was clipped and you can see it's, it has done an awesome job. So now we have our two clipped files, 35M and 36M. I'm going to rename these to 35M. So now that we have the two clipped layers, we are going to now create a new, a nice land cover map for Rwanda. So what we need to know is we need to look at the information, the kind of information that these data have. So we are going to go to one of the layers, which is the 36M clipped. And you can see it has the different color codes for the different land cover classification. And now to get this classification, we need to now go back to our browser. And I'm going to select now access the map. because we want to access the map and how it was classified. So now from this, you can actually read this description about this data and we'll go down to the class definitions and the code one was water, two trees, three grass, four flooded vegetation, five crops, six shrubland, seven built up areas, eight bare grounds, nine snow and 10 clouds. So, so that's how the classes were defined in this data. You can also come and say open in scene view to also be able to just look at how the classification was done. And you'll be able to now click on the legend and you can actually see the legend gives you how this data was classified. So this is actually what you're going to be using for our classification of the different color codes that have been given in our legend. So I'm going to go back to QGIS now that we know the, what all these represent, like red represent the built up areas, and the blue water, green is the trees and so on. So let's go now and create our land cover map. So I'm going to go to project, then new print layout, then it's a Rwanda land cover map. I say OK. Then I'm going to leave it at a landscape. You can always change uh, the properties by going to the portrait or landscape, but I'm going to leave it at landscape and F4. So I'm going to bring in our map. So add, add item, add map. I'm going to add our map here. You 
this area here. I'm also going to leave this side so that I put my legend and all the other information. Then I'm going to resize my, my map. Then I'm going to make sure it has a frame. So this is pretty much uh, using the print composer to create your map. So I'm going to be very fast so that uh, we complete our map. I'm going to add all the elements that are necessary for making a map. And you can add as many other elements, including an insert, if you want. So that's how you create a simple land cover map. Then you're going to save it, export as an image. Then you're going to save it on a desktop, run a cover map, land cover map. I'm going to increase the DPIs to 900 DPI so that it's more clear. And we have a land cover map of Rwanda, so I'm going to click on the green link here so that I can access it on my desktop and open it. And you can put this in your report, you can share it to your colleagues and just be able to just look at the different kinds of land cover within your area of interest. That's it for today's exercise. If you found this video useful and you want to learn more on QGIS, subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Otherwise, I'm just happy you're here. See you in my next video.